I'm going to show you guys how to integrate the square root of x squared plus 1. And as we know, we can do this by tricks up, right? However, I'll just leave that to you guys, because in this video, I will show you guys how to do this with what we call the Euler's substitution. Maybe you haven't seen this before, but check this out, because this is going to be really cool. This is how we are going to do it. The situation applies to when we have to integrate square root and the inside is a quadratic. So, of course, it works for this one, right? And it says we are going to take the entire square root and the inside is x squared plus 1, and we are going to make this equal to the following. First, pay attention to the coefficient of x squared, which in this case is 1, and I'm just going to say, let's use positive 1, and we multiply by x. So, of course, we can just write down x. Yes, this is an x, and we have x on both sides, right? And here is another thing right here. So we have x, and we are going to add it with a new variable, and traditionally, we put down plus t. This is the punchline. We let square root of x squared plus 1 equals to positive x plus t. And I'm going to have a Wikipedia link to you guys in the description, so you can read the article about Euler's substitution, right? So this is what we are going to do. And once you know this step, the rest uh, pretty much follow along the usual procedure. Because you know this is the integral that would integrate. It's in terms of x, right? It's in the x world. You have the t, that's a new variable. So we have to take this integral from the x world into the t world. Well, we have the dx here. Let's figure that out. So from here, to figure out dx, it may be better if we just isolate the x first, and we'll do so right here. So to do that, let's square both sides, all right? And you see, of course, they cancel, and then we will have x squared plus 1, and this will be equal to, let me just multiply this out for you guys, x plus t squared is x squared plus 2xt plus t squared. And keep in mind, I want to isolate x. So you see that, okay, x squared, x squared cancel, and I'm just going to write this down first, which is 2xt. Let me just put this down on the left-hand side. And you see this is a positive 2xt. I'll just put it down on the left-hand side. I will move the t squared to the left-hand side. And you see, we will have 1 minus t squared. Okay? So just like that. And I want to isolate x. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2t. And we see that we will have x is equal to 1 minus t squared over 2t. So this is what x is. But I want to take the derivative of x, right? Do the differential. I don't want to look at this form. That means I shall split the fraction. 1 over 2t. And then uh, minus t squared over 2t. We will have t over 2. Right? This is what we have. I want to look at this one and then differentiate. Let's go ahead and do that. We will have dx and the derivative of 1 half, and then we'll have the t in the denominator, right? Let me put down the 1 half first, and then we multiply. The derivative of 1 over t is negative 1 over t squared, right? And the derivative of negative t over 2 is just minus 1 half, because this is just a t to the first power. And we are talking about differential. Of course, we multiply by dt. And we're ready to go. We take this and replace that with dx. And you see this is the integral that we have. We have the integral. We have the square root of x squared plus 1. Well, originally we said that to be x plus t, right? So let me just write this down, x plus t. Right? This is the square root of x squared plus 1. And we have the dx, which is this. So let me multiply this with negative 1 on the top over 2t squared, and then minus 1 over 2 dt. So this portion is the dx. This right here is the square root of x squared plus 1, which we set it to be x plus t. That's what we have. This integral is in the t world. That means the x is not allowed. But we know what x is. x is this. And let me use this version to replace that x right here. So as you can see, this is going to be the integral. This x becomes that 1 minus t squared over 2t. And then we add it with t right here. like, And then we have the negative 1 over 2t squared minus 1 half dt, just like this. 
Okay, as you can see, after we take this integral from the x world into a t world, this is just a bunch of power function and polynomial and things like that, right? So we can totally integrate this by first doing some algebra, right? So let's just focus on this, and I'll do the algebra for you guys so you'll see uh, how this will go. I have fraction plus this, so let's combine fractions. So I will have to get 2t on the bottom, multiply 2t bottom and the top. So for the first part, you see we are integrating parentheses 2t, 2t, that's a denominator, so let's write it down. And do this slightly carefully. You see this is 1, just 1, but this is minus t squared, and here we have t times 2t, which is plus 2t squared, right? And then negative t squared plus 2t squared is plus t squared. This is the first fraction right here, right, the result. And right here, let's also combine the fractions. In this case, I'm just going to multiply this by t squared, top and bottom, like this. And we will have negative 1 minus t squared on the top, so let me put this down, over 2t squared. Right, that's a denominator. And now, this is what we have. Okay, let's see what do we do next. This is going to be I notice that this is minus, this is minus, right? So I can factor out negative, isn't it? So minus, minus, I'm going to factor it out. And it's just going to be a constant multiple. I'm going to take that negative one all the way into the front. So you will see this is going to be the negative that I got from here. And with that being said, do this carefully, you have the integral. This is 1 plus t squared. But I factored out the negative one, so you see this is going to be negative parentheses, and technically now we will have 1 plus t squared, right? This is 1 plus t squared, and this is another 1 plus t squared. They are multiplying. Of course, that's just 1 plus t squared, and then raised to a second power. So on the top, we have this, 1 plus t squared, and then raised to a second power. And then we do this over. 2 times 2 is, of course, 4. And then t times t squared is t to the third power. This is dt. Okay, so just keep going, do the algebra before we do calculus, right? So here's the minus, and we have the integral on the top. I'm just going to expand it. So right here you see we will have 1 plus 2t squared plus t to the fourth power, like this, right? So you expand it and then divide this by 4t to the third power, dt. That's what we have. And now you see this is the integral, negative negative integral, and then you have the, to integrate this, you just split the fractions. Let's put down a 4 in the front, actually, right, the 1 over 4 in the front, and let me write this down slightly better. This is plus t to the fourth power. So let me f put a 4 in the front, right, negative 1 over 4, and then we have the integral. Here we have 1 over t to the third power, let me just write it down for you guys like this, all right? And then 2 t squared over t to the third power, so it's plus 2 over t. At the end, we have t to the fourth power over t to the third power, the, fourth, the 1 over 4 is in the front already, so plus t to the first power, and this is what we have, dt. Right? And now, you see, this is still negative 1 over 4, but we can totally integrate this. So we're just going to be integrating this term by term. And if you would like, you can look at 1 over t to the third power as t to the negative 3. To integrate this, you add 1 to the exponent, which becomes negative 2. And you have to divide it by negative 2, right? Divide it by that new power. So you end up with 1 over negative 2. And then you know the power is negative 2, so you have t to the second power down below. If you would like, just put it down like this. And to integrate this, you have plus 2 and then 1 over t gives you ln absolute value of t, and then to integrate t, you get plus 1 half t squared, like this. And we are pretty much done for the integration part. And at the end, uh, of course, you know square root of x squared plus 1 is equal to x plus t. So from here, you can say that this is the same as saying, let me just draw it like this, I can say t is equal to minus the x on both sides which is square root of x squared plus 1 minus x, right? 
And if you would like, you can just plug in this into the T and pretend that you are done, isn't it? <laughs> because at the end, I still have to just rewrite this in terms of X. But I believe you guys have seen the other video that the square root of X squared plus one right here, the integral for this, uh, it's not going to be look like this. So uh, to continue with this video, I will do a lot more algebra right here to show you the result of this. It's indeed the same as the result that you will get by doing that with trick sub, all right? So this is how we are going to continue. All right, right here. Um, let me just distribute the negative 1 over 4 into the parentheses. So you have positive 1 over 8 t squared, and then this is negative 1 half ln absolute value of t. And then this and that is going to give me negative 1 over 8 t squared, right? I'm not putting down plus c yet because this is not it, okay? This is not the answer for the integration for my final result. So let's focus on the function part right now. And what I'm going to do next is that um, I am just going to rewrite these two terms and put them together for you guys. And uh, let me write it down as 1 over 8 in the front. And I will factor this out, which is 1 over t squared. And then we have minus t squared, like that, Okay, for these two terms together. Right? Like this and that give us this. And then I will minus 1 half ln absolute value of t. And here is the reason why I want to do that. Because now, and let me just erase this because I think it's all c already. At this point here, I will uh, plug in this expression in terms of x for the t. And to do so, this is perhaps I would like to show you this is going to be 1 over 8. And let me just do it on the side for you guys, all right? So I think this way it's easier because, um, yeah. <laughs> so this right here, you know, I'm just focusing on this part. So I'll put this down in blue. T is that, so you will end up with one over. And let's put on a T as this inside here, which is the square root of x squared plus one minus x and let me just put the power to the top like that, all right? So this right here is for this. And on the other hand, we have the minus. Once again, we have the t, which is that. So let me just put this down like this, which is the square root of x squared plus 1 minus x in the square, right? So this is the star next to this, and this is for the first part. Okay, so I have a fraction, and this is not a fraction, and then, yeah. But this is square root minus something. I can multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate and simplify a lot of things for you guys, and let me do that right here. So inside here, let me just multiply this by square root of x squared plus 1, and then plus x. All right, that's the conjugate of that, isn't it? I will do so on the top as well, multiply this by square root of x squared plus 1, and then plus x like this, right? And as you can see, and as we will see, on the top, we'll just have uh, this, which is square root of, let me, just write, let me just write it down like this, square root of x squared plus 1 plus x. Okay, that's the top right here. And the bottom is very interesting, because when you do this times that, we are multiplying the conjugate. What you are going to do is, you square the first, and then minus you square the second. When you square the first, you just have x squared plus 1, right? And then you minus the second thing, which is x squared, and then you, which is x, and you square that, which is x squared, right? When you multiply this out. And you see, this and that will cancel. The bottom is just over 1. The bottom is just over 1, which it doesn't matter. So multiply this out, you get this. And then, of course, this is still raised to the second power. And let me keep it as minus, this is still square root of x squared plus 1 minus x, and then raised to a second power. And look at this. Something squared minus something else squared. This is the difference of two squares. Of course, I don't want to multiply it out because I want to factor it, and then uh, inside I'll cancel things out. So right here, this is my first term. This is my second term, right, in terms of the a squared minus b squared. 
So we are going to end up, this is square root of x squared plus 1 plus x, and we add it with this, which is square root of x squared plus 1 minus x. And then for the second factor, it's going to be this minus that, which is square root of x squared plus 1 plus x, and then we minus, and for the minus, be sure we put a parentheses, huh? This, which is square root of x squared plus 1 minus x, like this. All right. Let's see what can we simplify. The first one, of course, the x and x cancel. We have this and that. Two of them. So we have 2 square root of x squared plus 1. Second one, you see that this and that, this is a subtraction. So this and that will cancel out. And at the end, this is plus x minus negative x, so it's the same as x plus x. That means we have 2x, so we multiply by 2x, right? So all in all, you pretty much have 4x square root of x squared plus 1. This right here is that result, right? So it's right here. I'll put this down for you guys. 1 over a, and we multiply by 4x square root of x squared plus 1. That's the first part right here. And for the next part, this is how I'm going to do it. All right? So for the next part, what I'm going to do is, first, you see that I have a negative here. What I'm going to have is, let me just write it down in red perhaps right here. So this is going to be for the second part right here. Right? So this is my double star, like that. What I'm going to look at is, I'm going to take this negative to the power, so you will have, uh, let me just focus on the negative, I want to keep one half, because the result of that, if you do the tricks up, you will see this one half. Um, let me just write this down again, negative um, ln absolute value of t, which you know it will be ln absolute value, bring the t to the top, so t to the negative 1, which is the same as ln 1 over t, right? And let me just continue right here. This is the same as saying ln absolute value 1 over t is da. <laughs> so we will just put this down, square root of x squared plus 1, and then minus x, right? That's for the t. All right. So what are we going to do with this? Same deal right here. We are going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate, right? So I'm just going to erase this a little bit because I want to multiply this by the conjugate, which is the square root of x squared plus 1, and then plus x on the bottom, and also do it on the top, x squared plus 1, and then plus 1, like, like this. All right? This is 1 times that. And close the absolute value. And you will see this is ln absolute value not plus 1, plus x, right? 1 times this is just that, of course. This is square root of x squared plus 1, and then plus x. On the bottom, this times that, what do we get? Just like that, we get 1, right? So be sure you do this times that, which is x squared plus 1, and then minus the second thing squared, which is x squared, which, once again, we can cancel out. It's just over 1, over 1, over 1, which doesn't matter at all. And I will uh, you know, close the absolute value. Okay, this was the negative. I brought it to the top, so it becomes positive now, right? So it becomes positive. And the 1 half stays, because I didn't do anything with the 1 half. And negative, let me just, negative ln absolute value of t in this case, is this, which is ln absolute value. And you know the inside, this is uh, square root of x squared plus 1 plus x, right? Like this. This, square root of x squared plus 1, is always bigger than x. So it doesn't matter what x is. The inside here, it's always positive. So, I don't technically need the absolute value, so let me just perhaps erase it right here. It will change the absolute value to parentheses. And I will put a ln parentheses that. 
square root of x squared plus 1 and then plus x. Okay, so much fun, isn't it? And if you want to just uh, end up with exactly the result at the end, um, that when you do that by tricks up, that's all you do with right here 4 over 8, which is 1 half. So I'll write this down 1 half x square root of x squared plus 1, and then this is plus 1 half ln parentheses square root of x squared plus 1, and then plus x. And we are all done. Plus c right here. This right here is the typical answer that you will get when you do it by tricks up as well. Ta-da! That's it.